So Owen, it's great to have you here at the London Film and Comic Con today. Of course, we've met you before, and uh, we know when you were filming Merlin in France, you ended up being a bit of a tourist attraction, you guys. What was that like? I think we made France a better place, <laughs> just to, just in general. And the French, no, yeah, I, I wish the French government could like given us little medals and stuff. No, I don't think they really cared very much. Um, yeah, France is mental because there's so many. It was uh, a lot of people, and it was it can be a little bit. Um, sometimes it's a bit like doing a theatre play or so because you're kind of on show a lot when you're doing all the scenes outside so it's very much you're being watched so the film is quite intimate and television is quite intimate because there only is even if you a big crew so that was much more of a, almost a live performance type thing in a way yeah now there's a bit of a rumor going around that the guys spent longer in the makeup truck than the ladies did on Merlin. We spoke to Rupert recently and he said, oh, yeah, that sounds right, right, but I'm going to say no because I don't want that rumor to continue. But what do you say about it? Well, it's, it's actually a lot of bollocks. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, they didn't really ever, I didn't ever get makeup from Merlin, very, very rarely. I love the makeup girls, but we didn't really do anything. So I think Rupert, Rupert's hair takes quite a while because it's quite <laughs> fluffy and curly, you know? I just get out of the shower and it just sits like this. You know, Rupert's the main culprit. You're a wash and go kind of guy. W wash and go kind of go, yeah. I'm not into makeup, so. Dirt, they give me loads of dirt. I like getting dirt put on. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, dirt's good. Now, you had more and more armor as you went on on the show as well. What was that like? Were you weighed down? You know, I, I actually hated that because um, when I first came in, I didn't have any armor. It was just like all these nice kind of airy, fairy clothes. And then uh, I began to get very jealous of Merlin because he had no armor. And I remember when I first came in, I had the same costume as he did, essentially. And uh, then I began to get quite envious of the fact that he was still jumping around the place in this, like, nice little woolen boots and little kind of, you know, leggings and nice little kind of T-shirt. And I was like, this isn't fair. We're rocking around France in capes and, and all sorts of armour. And this was a... fucking <laughs> tits. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Right, OK, I've got to ask this now. How do you think your skills on the following things improved over the various seasons you were doing Merlin? OK, riding horses having sword fights, getting drunk and getting lost in forests? Well, exponentially they all got better. <laughs> I think the getting lost in forests got worse as a thing. As in, you don't get better at getting lost in forests, you get worse at getting lost in forests. The rest of them all got, all got better, though, as it went along. Yeah. So your skill base improved on that? Yes, apart from, apart from the getting lost part, yeah. <laughs> We've talked a bit about um, with the guys what would happen if there was a Merlin the movie. Would you be up for going back for Merlin the movie, and what would you like to see in that? Yeah, um, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd happily do a Merlin movie, but I mean it depends on how they wrote it and what they did with it. So, but I, I don't really know. I, yeah, I guess if, if they were going to do one, I'd do it. Yeah, most definitely. But I'd like I'd, I'd do an Adventures of Gray and Adventures of the Green Knight and all that kind of stuff. That'd be fun to do. You know, yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you a bit about Cold as well, because obviously you've, um, one of your new movie, you've crowdfunded it. How's that going with that? And when can we expect to see it? And tell us a bit about it. Well, well we're finished it, and um, it's premiering in Galway in next Saturday, actually, uh, in, in Galway, in uh, the main screen, which I'm really happy about. So I got one of the main picks. And I go away to festivals close to my heart, and then we're going to work out from Galway what festivals are going to send it to afterwards. So it's it's really really beautiful, and really happy. With it. So hopefully you'll all, it'll, I want to do the festival circuit with it for six months, and then we'll just kind of see what happens. But it's it's finished, and everyone so far the feedback's been great. So I'm really happy. Yeah. What was it like working with Tom as a director, as well as an actor and the writer on this one as well? Yeah, but Tom's really easy to work with because he's just he's Tom, isn't he? He's just like the easiest person in the world. So it's like you know, it's just like hanging out. So. More plans for more films after this one now? I, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a show on NBC called The Night Shift and we start shooting in about five weeks. So I'm not thinking beyond that. I'm just writing a lot. I've written a book and a few other things. So I'm just kind of working a lot. So, yeah. Your character on that is a bit of an adrenaline junkie, isn't he? And a rule breaker. How much of an adrenaline junkie and a rule breaker do you think you are? Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, Depends on what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to go doing any of that crazy stuff like doing stunts on a on a motorbike out of a helicopter. But I like, I like doing my own stuff. Yeah, I don't like being told what to do. So maybe the similarities that way. Yeah. And the doctors on the show as well. I've heard a bit of pranksters as well. How much of a prankster do you reckon you are? And what your favourite prank that you've ever done? Do you know? I have a feeling we're going to end up with a lot of pranks in the show because the other guys are a bit <laughs> mental. And Jr. and Brendan and, and they kind of. Uh, I get the feeling we're g this, this this show could be fun in terms of we're going to get in trouble. It's I, I, that's the impression I get. Oh, it's been lovely speaking to you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Absolute pleasure, <laughs> Cheers. Dan.